So it was announced yesterday that uh, Senator Joe Manchin, the Honorable Joe Manchin from West Virginia, will not be seeking re-election to the United States Senate. Now, this um, has affected 2024 in a couple different ways. Number one, it makes it much easier for Republicans to regain the Senate since Manchin is basically a Republican himself. And so in order for the Democrats to keep that seat now, they're going to have to win with a first-time candidate against a Republican first-time candidate. West Virginia is an overwhelmingly Republican state, so this now becomes a very difficult seat for the Democrats to hold. That's one aspect of this. The other aspect of this is this has really revved up speculation that Manchin's going to run for president with the No Labels Party, which already has ballot access in Arizona, and they are seeking it elsewhere, and so... This creates a lot of speculation there, especially given uh, a little piece of his announcement that he is quitting the Senate. So let's take a look at this video. This is a four and a half minute video. We are not going to torture you by making you watch four and a half minutes of Joe Manchin. I spliced out a little 40 second clip with the most relevant material. So here we go. After months of deliberation and long conversation with my family, I believe in my heart of hearts that I have accomplished what I set out to do for West Virginia. I have made one of the toughest decisions of my life and decided that I will not be running for re-election to the United States Senate. But what I will be doing is traveling the country and speaking out to see if there is an interest in creating a movement to mobilize the middle and bring Americans together. To the West Virginians who have put their trust in me and fought side by side to make our state better, it has been my honor of my life to serve you. It has Thank been you. the honor of my life to fuck you as hard as I can, as often <laughs> as I can. And so long, as suckers. Much, as much corporate cash as I could in the process. It has been my honor. No, that, so that midsection there where he says, um, I am going to tour the country and see if there's an interest in a middle coalition, that is politics speak for I'm testing the waters for a presidential run. That's what that means. Touring the country to see if there's interest. We know previous reporting has confirmed that No Labels is actually interested in him to lead a, you know, quote unquote unity ticket. So they would find him with a moderate Republican, perhaps a Mitt Romney, who's not going to be in the Senate anymore, um, to run a third party challenger campaign. It seems like he is at the very least exploring that. Uh, We know now that he is taking that option seriously. Obviously, it's not confirmed that he'll do it. But if Joe Manchin does it, then you have Biden, Trump, RFK, Cornel West, whoever the libertarians nominate, because they're going to nominate someone, and then Joe Manchin. So you have potentially six candidates who can garner significant support. In this race, I mean, this really could be. This really could be uh, a very, very chaotic. It's, it's going to be Thunderdome. Yeah. It'll be Thunderdome. Yep. Uh, I, I want to see them fight it out with clubs and sticks. Um, what's really sickening about seven. that video? I'm sorry, I left out Jill Stein. I'm sorry. I didn't oh yeah. Mean to say that seven. Biden, Trump, Stein, Cornell, Mansion, RFK, Libertarian. Seven candidates My- in the race. I mean, fuck RFK, man. I, she's wiry. My money is on her in a gladiatorial combat. Oh, Jill Stein? You know, get, yeah, you give them all, like, Escape from New York. You give them, like, the garbage can lids and the <laughs> bats with the nails in them. I mean, Manchin's no slouch either. He looks like a pretty big dude. He looks like a pretty, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's really sickening about that video is uh, the first half, he does all the Americana. Yeah, my pappy didn't believe in politics. He told me that's a rough business. I said, you know, you can help people. The ding dang do. And then my pappy said, okay, as long as you're there for the people. <laughs> you, you, you fucking piece of shit. You're there for the people. And he and he's talking at the end about how there's all this investment coming into West Virginia. And you know what? He he's not wrong. But it has absolutely nothing to do. They have Tim Pool. It it has absolutely nothing to do with him. It has to do with the post-COVID cultural trends where everyone's like, where's the housing cheap and I can get a lot of land? It has nothing to do with anything Joe Manchin has ever done for that state. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, no, he acts in his in his speech there like he didn't become the very part of the problem that his pappy warned him against. You know what I mean? Right, well, right. it's a rough business. You wouldn't want to go in there and become corrupted <laughs> by by big forces. 
<laughs> that work against the people. Glad I was able to yeah. dodge that. Yeah, dodge that bullet. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I look, I've said before, no labels. They're total scumbags. Yes, my daughter should be in prison. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but that's how it goes. You know, the next generation's not close to the soil like I am. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but, you know, I've said as much as obviously no labels is not a real third party. It's a very contemptible, you know, scumbag right. organization. Right. I do hope they run somebody. I, you know, I hope as many candidates get in as possible. I think having seven candidates in the race would be great. The more you can undermine the two-party system in, in 2024, I think the better will be uh, in the long run. So I hope he does it. I hope he does it. Run, Joe, yep. run. Go for it. The Go for chaos, it. more chaos, burn Gotham to the ground. That's our motto here. Exactly. Exactly. What? He's, he, who will he, what, hurt? Or the, or the, they're going to take votes from Joe Biden going back to that CNN segment. Oh, no, you, you wouldn't want to wouldn't want to hurt the Joe Biden ticket. Here's the, this is... Uh, from Ernest on uh, Rumble. If you vote for Stein instead of the genocidal Biden who's pushing us to the brink of global annihilation, bad things might happen. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. What you, you're, you're telling me we need to be invested in the re-election of Joe Biden? As if there's anything, as if there are these really high stakes, oh my God, if the Democrat loses, what'll happen to the world? Well, and, and in the end, um, you know, by the time Trump would be in office, um, whatever's going on with uh, Israel is going to be over one way or another, right? Like th this is not sustainable, you know, like right. it, it, even if you think that Biden is moderately better on Israel and it's, you know, it's a tough case to make it. That's not even going to be going on by then, in my opinion, uh, that this is going to have resolved itself one way or the other. At that point, we're going to be in World War Three. Or Israel is gonna have gotten away with genocide. Right. Those oh yeah, are no two resolutions. It, yeah, no. They, this and, won't be a, a years long thing like Ukraine was supposed to be. No. So at that point, you're really looking at Ukraine, and on that, the Republicans are actually better, or a certain section of Republicans that Trump represents. Please clap. <laughs> 